Hello again, students. This is your flipped grammar lesson for Storytown Lesson 26. This lesson is about the progressive verb tenses. So for this activity, you need your WISC worksheet and a pen or a pencil. Then on your WISC worksheet next to unit of study, please write progressive verb tenses. And then in the W section, write when and where you watched this video. Now we're ready to get started. As usual, let's have a quick review. These are the principal parts of verbs, which we have been working with over the past several weeks. Remember that verbs have four basic forms. The first is the infinitive form, which is the form that is used with the word to, such as to go or to write. This form of the verb is used for the present and future tenses. Then you have the past tense form of the verb, which usually uses ed, but sometimes is irregular. Next, you have the past participle form of the verb, which sometimes is the same as the past tense, using the ed or an irregular form. Past participle is used with has, have, or had, to make the perfect tenses. This week, we'll be focusing on the final form of the verb, the present participle. So let's take a look at what that means. What do planets like to read? Comet books, oh! The present participle form of the verb is the form of the verb that uses the suffix ing. It's always this form of the verb, and so the only thing you really need to remember are the spelling rules. The spelling rules are listed for you here on the screen, and they are all things you should know from previous years of study. Why did the sun go to school? To get brighter! Now, here's how we use the present participle. We use it to make something called the progressive tense. The progressive tense is a tense that shows action that is ongoing. It can be past, present, or future. But to make the progressive tense, you use the present participle form of the verb, which, remember, is the ing form. Along with that present participle form of the verb, you will use a to be form of the verb as a helping verb. Remember, these are your tricky verbs am, is, are, was, and were. And for future progressive, you will use will be. What kind of music do planets listen to? Neptunes. So here we go. Here is the information about the present progressive tense of a verb. Present progressive shows an action that is ongoing and it is happening now. In order to form the present progressive form of the verb, you would use a helping verb am, is, or are, and that present participle or ing form of the verb. So for example, we can say, every day at the planetarium, people are learning how to drive a space rover. This is the present progressive tense because it used the helping verb are, along with the present participle, learning, with the ing at the end. Do you know when the moon has had enough to eat? How? When it's full. Next, let's look at the past progressive form of a verb. Past progressive shows an action that was ongoing in the past. In this case, for past progressive, you will use was or were as the helping verb. But just like for present progressive, you will use the present participle, which is the ing form of the verb. So for example, we could say, many children were playing on the steps of the planetarium. Were is the helping verb that shows it's the past tense, and because we used the present participle, or ing form, playing, put it together, we have past progressive tense. And say to the cat, take me to your litter. Finally, we have the future progressive tense. The future progressive tense 
shows an action that will be ongoing in the future. In order to form the future progressive tense, you use the helping verbs will be. And once again, you also use the present participle, which is the ing form of the verb. So, for example, we could say, every year many students will be learning about the planets. This is future progressive because it uses the helping verbs will be and the ing form of the verb to make the present participle. That's it. Now you just need to make sure to finish your WISC worksheet. In the S section, write a five sentence summary of what you learned from the video. Hopefully you remembered that a good summary includes information from all parts of the video, depending on whether it was really important information or not. Then in the Q section, write a question you might have about something you did not understand in the video. Again, if you have no questions, then create a test question for your classmates, and maybe you'll see it end up on the quiz this week. Make sure you have your assignment completed on time and turned in by the due date, and we'll see you next week.